I wanted to make this office mine, if that makes sense. I'm sure a lot of people say that, but um, I wanted to have a clean looking area for work, somewhere I can come to live stream, uh, create content, and just relax it because um, I haven't ever really had that kind of space. And I've been working from home for the last three years and you know I was working out of the living room, so now that I finally have this space, you know, it is really no excuse for me to not make stuff or stream or be able to work comfortably. Uh, now it's it's just a matter of if I want to make changes later on. But I think for now, this is the perfect home office and creative space for me. Now, we'll start off by talking about like the the stuff on the wall, the decor and all that stuff. And one thing I wanted to get were, were some posters. It was kind of a struggle because I've always wanted display posters, you know, the cool metal posters with the custom designs and they have like limited edition things and stuff like that. So I wanted that for this room, but it was very hard because the walls are not only textured, but they're not even level in some places. But the displays are cool looking, they're really cool looking. I also have a, you know, a print of Ultra Instinct Goku, and I have a, a poster of Zenyatta, and those are things that, I think the, the Ultra Instinct poster I got from Goku was from Boss Logic. Uh, the Zenyatta one was from um, a creator on Etsy, I believe, and you know, these are things that I just happened to stumble across and, you know, decided to get. As far as anything else, uh, you know, I have like the plushie for Wrecking Ball. The plushie is pretty cool. I got that off of the Blizzard store online. And this Pokeball, which is, I think, a Roblox. And that was, I think, from Target. But yeah, I mean, it's it lights up and everything. It's pretty cool. And then I have my shelf on the wall next to the Zenyatta poster, which has a few things. I think the, the coolest looking thing is probably the Infinity Gauntlet from, from Lego. Uh, it took a bit to put that together, but I finally got it together and then the cats kind of started chewing on it. <laughs> so um, I had to put pieces back on, but now that it's up there, they can't get to it. Uh, it's in a great spot. And that's next to a couple of tubs. One of them is Solid Snake and the other one is K6, RIP K6 from Destiny. And uh, the last one is from Death Stranding. Well, it's from Kojima Productions, but it's the, the Ludens, like, mascot. But it's from a specific brand. I can't remember the brand off the top of my head, but um, this is also a limited edition color that they don't sell anywhere else. So I got it off of their website, and I, I really wanted it. I'm glad I got it. There's a original version in white, which is cool, but... I like the all black version, it, it matches this setup more. Now let's talk about like the pegboards on the wall. Uh, I have some stuff on there. On the top left, on the left pegboard I have like a Kid Goku little figurine that was originally supposed to sit on like a little stand, but I kind of lost the stand. Uh, so now it's just on top of there. I actually had this on top of my monitor originally, but I figured it would make more sense to put it up there. I also have a couple pairs of headphones, a headset for when I live stream, a couple of storage like little things. I have scissors and cables and things like that. Uh, obviously a lint roller because I have cats and they're kind of a pain to, to you know, manage in this room. I'm trying to keep clean and you know, the first flying around. So always gotta have a lint roller. And then the sound panels. Now the sound panels, I obviously need it to, to kind of dampen the echo in the room a bit. Obviously, it's not gonna get rid of all of it because one, it's just the way the room was built and two, I don't have that many on the walls. I have some by the shelf on the right wall. I have some between the pegboards and then I have some of the door um, on the inside of the room, but then I have some behind me in the corner behind the chair. So um, I just wanted something to for the look and to dampen the sound, but obviously having more furniture and things in here would also help with that, which I do have, so. Um, it's way better than what it was before. Tanzania can tell you, like, it was 
incredibly echoey in here. It still is a little bit, but it's nowhere near t to the level of what it was before. And the last thing I want to talk about are the plants. Um, I got these from Hey Rooted. Tanzania actually turned me on to this website and I like them a lot. I've always wanted plants. I do want to get more, but the problem is they would have to be hanging because my youngest cat Goten, he likes to chew on plants. He likes like vegetation and any, any plants we've had throughout the house, he's always gotten into. And it's just a pain. So I can't really have floor standing plants, even though I want like a gigantic one in my room. So for now we have the two hanging off of the ceiling, um, which I like and will hopefully keep alive for a while. Um, just gotta make sure I take care of them and you know, they get proper water and stuff. So furniture. I I didn't really have too many thoughts on like the furniture for this room or you know the amount of things I would get or wanted to get initially, but um, one thing I did want to get for sure was a separate chair um, to just relax in, to not sit in for work or you know while I'm at the desk or anything. And, that's the chair I'm sitting in now. It's pretty comfortable, it's a good size for me, and the build quality is really good. I haven't had any real issues other than my cats have been kneading on it, so um, they're trying to like destroy it. Like it's, it's the one thing in the room that they constantly need on, which sucks, but I mean, there's no way to get around it. Like I'm not gonna stop them from coming in the room, so it is what it is. And then obviously there's the main chair in the room, which is my desk chair. Um, the chair and I sit in for work every day, the chair I sit in to stream it uh, when I stream and you know edit videos and all that. So yeah, this is the embodied chair from Herman Miller. I actually really like this chair and it fits the setup way more than the other one ever would. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely super comfortable. Yeah, this is a great chair. Like I have no complaints about uh, the next thing is, you know, I had to have something for my cats in here. So we have uh, the cat bed next to, you know, a couple of other things in that corner. Really, they don't really land in, in here too much. They're not used to it being in here fully yet. I think Goten has laid on it maybe a couple of times. And Barry got on it once. But, you know, they're still trying to adjust to the new office and, you know, some of the other rooms in the house and the layouts and all that stuff so you know we had to have something in here for them and obviously you know next to that is a new rug that i got and i've always wanted a rug in here i didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a rug actually i kind of wanted to initially but then i i realized that didn't make any sense so i got one from amazon and it's a nice looking rug goten really loves this rug he needs on it he lays on it he likes to play on it and um i think it matches the setup pretty well very cheap, I think it was like 30 something dollars. So yeah, it's definitely a good investment if you just want something to kind of like fill in the space or um, improve like the look of your room, then you know, a rug is definitely a great option, but you don't have to break the bank when it comes to All right, getting now, something like this. One thing I wasn't planning on getting initially, but I saw at Ikea and I instantly wanted it was a locker. Um, this locker, is a great fit i like the color and also i have all of my stuff in there in terms of like cables you know charging bricks filming equipment um and then you know storing like extra boxes that i have to keep for like certain devices it's definitely a great investment and then the last thing in terms of furniture the drawer unit next to my desk now this is this is something that i use for like my work devices um stuff related to my keyboards because i have a few different keyboards and i just recently swapped out keycaps so i have like keycap removers keycaps uh extra keyboards some other stuff like i said work devices and other things like that and that's stuff that like needs to be next to me for quick access so i figured just getting a, a drawer unit would make more sense originally i was going to get two of these and use these as like the base for my desk, but I gave one to Tanzania and I decided to use this as an actual drawer unit and do something different with my desk, so yeah. When it comes to like this, like smart home stuff, I'm 
a huge fan of it. I, I've recently gotten more into it and um, set up like Google throughout the house and, you know, the assistants, the speakers, displays and stuff like that. So um, one thing I wanted to get for my room that no other room has because we end up getting the Nest displays um, for the other rooms was just a Nest speaker. I just wanted a, a Nest speaker for the room so I can have better audio um, than just with the Nest Mini. But I also didn't want the display because I wasn't gonna use the display in here. Um, so yeah, I got the, the Google Nest speaker and this is in the sand color. Um, and this sits next to my Orbi satellite from Netgear. Um, and this is part of a, a mesh network for our home Wi-Fi, which, you know, if you're not using mesh, please upgrade to mesh. It, it's way more reliable, it's faster. Um, it has way wider range depending on which system you get and the speed it supports. But yeah, we've had no issues with these things. Um, they're awesome and highly recommended. Another thing I wanted to get for this room that I, I didn't have or plan on getting initially was an air purifier. Um, with the cats, you know, running around and the dust flying around when we were kind of cleaning up these rooms and, and doing stuff and, um, you know, we had to get something for this room and uh, I looked at several purifiers and I also was thinking about getting another Dyson because we do have a Dyson in a different room in the house. But a Dyson, a second Dyson would have been way too expensive. Uh, so I decided to get this um, air purifier from SmartMe and it's actually really good. Aesthetically, it looks great. Like I think it fits the setup perfectly. Um, it's not super loud or anything. You can change the intensity of the purification. You can change the modes. You can also replace the filters on it. It has a smart app that's very clean. It works with Google. It, it, it's just great. Like I haven't had any real issues with it at all. So if you're looking for a good smart air purifier, this is definitely recommended because it's way cheaper than a lot of the other options I was looking at. And it just looks good. Now the last two things I'm gonna talk about for like the smart home stuff is the lamp and the ceiling light. This lamp, I actually wanted to get two of these, but I was only able to get one because they stopped making them and they're nowhere to be found. And this is from Govi. Now Govi makes a lot of like smart light LED products, smart home products in general, uh, but this light doesn't support RGB. It supports various like temperatures of white color and it works with Google. It obviously supports uh, the Govi app, which you can control it and schedule times and all that stuff for. And then the ceiling light is from LifeX. We've been using LifeX for a few years now and it's a smaller bulb that can fit like a smaller um, area. Like if you have a, a bowl that covers your, your lighting fixture, these light bulbs are the way to go. The last section, which is the most important section of the room, is the desk setup. And I've been trying to get to this setup for a while because I've had like different monitors and computers and just different keyboards and things on the desk uh, when I was working in the living room before this office was created. And, you know, it always became very cluttered and dirty and um, different things just in the area. It was not very comfortable what like it's not the way i wanted it to look um now i'm at a place where i like the look i like the things that are on the desk it all makes sense so yeah the first thing i'll talk about is the actual desk now it's not a traditional desk as you can see this is an ikea countertop but as you can see i have controls on the right side so i'm using the same standing desk frame that i used before uh, in my previous desk and I just drilled it into the countertop under. I wasn't initially gonna do this. I was gonna, like I said before, use the Ikea drawer units as the base to the desk, but I kind of just felt like, well, maybe I can make a standing desk setup and improve the cable management. And I did improve the cable management. It's way better than what it was before. Obviously, it's not gonna be perfect for everyone because I have multiple computers connected for multiple things, work, personal, you know, content creation and, and things like that, including the, 
the other stuff on the desk, but yeah, the desk works out great. High quality countertop. The frame is perfect. I have no issues with it, you know, standing or, or lowering or anything like that. It's just great. I think the desk frame was from Autonomous. Now the next thing I'll talk about is on the desk um, and it's the clock that's there. I don't know what like drove me to getting one of these clocks. I think I just saw them so much across the internet that I wanted one. So I, I got one and it's from Cloud Nola and it takes a C battery, I think, which is kind of crazy. I haven't used a C battery in years, but yeah, it takes it. <laughs> so uh, I think the clock is actually supposed to last for an entire year without having to switch the battery, but yeah, it's great. Another thing that, well, this thing I wasn't planning on getting initially, I got this one because it looked cool. And this one I got off of a website called Chubby Cable. And they make like some very like high quality thick cables for like charging and other stuff. They also have other accessories too, but I, I've only gotten the cables and this wireless charger. It's a 15 watt charger. So I just use it to charge the earbuds I use and my phone or any other devices I need to charge wirelessly and it's worked out very good i haven't had any issues with it now a couple of things on my desk that i was going to take off until tanzania helped me figure out how to keep them standing were you know these two figurines that i have and the one on the right is a c3po it's i think from bandai nemco it's from a subsidiary of, of bandai uh, that makes these cool like japanese inspired figurines and as you, as you can see with this one, like he's got like the little thing on the side, he's got like the rope belt, a couple of other things. It's pretty cool. A lot of detail it was put into to this figure and as well as the next one, which is a shadow trooper. And this one's got the sword and the dagger and they just look very awesome. All right. So let's talk about the keyboard. Now the keyboard, I started recently getting into mechanical keyboards and I was never the type of person that even cared about mechanical keyboards or keycaps or any of that stuff. But I got a couple of keyboards. This is actually my second keyboard. This is from Melgeek and this is the Mojo 68. Now, this isn't the regular Mojo 68 because I swapped out the keycaps recently. The keycaps I got on Amazon and they have the little Japanese characters as well as English uh, characters as well. But the color scheme I feel matches my setup more and i like these keycaps a lot so i'll leave links in the description for every single thing you see in this video everything that's mentioned but yeah the keycaps are one thing that i'm actually very very happy about because i was worried that i wasn't going to be able to put them on right or they just wanted, weren't going to feel good and they actually feel very good and they're more flush with the keyboard than the original keycaps were so not to say that they're bad but i i like the flush keycaps more these actually look really good they match the the cable connected to the hub under the desk and yeah this keyboard is awesome so yeah if you're looking for a cool transparent looking keyboard they actually have different colors at Mel Geek. so i'll leave a link in the description for that and i believe with this and chubby cable you can get i think eight and or ten percent off from both of those companies with my code below in the description so feel free to check that out if you want discounts and all that stuff all right so right in front of the keyboard is the wrist rest and i've tried several wrist rests before for keyboards i like this one the most just because it looks nice it feels nice it's wooden it's got a nice rubber textured grip on the bottom so it doesn't move all over the place it doesn't slide or anything and yeah i just i i finally settled on a wrist rest for my keyboard and I don't think I'm gonna swap anytime soon. I think this is actually really good. And then obviously my my mouse and wrist rest, like the wrist rests I got off of Amazon, I've tried a few of these as well. This one's more comfortable for my wrist. I've tried the flatter ones and they're cool, but I feel like they're a little bit too low. So I got this one instead off of Amazon. And then the mouse of choice, the Logitech MX Master 3, it's, been through a lot as you can see i actually cleaned this several times but i feel like i just need a new mouse because i've had this for for several years and i think because of the light color and the amount of work that's been done with this mouse i feel like i might end up switching this out soon even though i do have another mouse but it's not the same it's a gaming mouse uh it's not something that i would be able to use for like productivity or anything like that so 
Maybe I'll just get the MX Master 3S and, and swap that out, but we'll see. I'll, I'll let you know in a future video what I end up doing, if I end up changing anything with my desk setup. The next thing I have is the microphone and microphone arm. Uh, the microphone is from Blue Audio, Blue Microphones. Uh, it's the Spark XL Blackout Edition. It's my first XLR mic, and it's sitting on top of an Elgato low-profile mic arm. Uh, I had a different mic arm before from Blue. Didn't work out. Was terrible. Uh, so I, I saw a lot of, you know, people on the internet were using this mic arm, and it actually works great with my setup. So I'm very happy with it. And I highly recommend this as well. Now the mic plugs into the Wave XLR from Elgato. I use this for streaming along with the Elgato Stream Deck Mini. I didn't want the regular size one because I didn't think I would need it and I still don't need it. So the Mini is perfect for me for my, my you know, desk setup and all that stuff. So I use this for streaming and that's pretty much it for the mic stuff. Like. All that stuff is used for when I live stream, which has been awesome. I've had no issues with it. Definitely check those out. And we're getting close to like the end of like the desk setup. So let's talk about the monitors. The one in the middle is, is a new addition. And this is a monitor I've been wanting for a long time. This is actually replacing the monitor in the left, uh, which was my, well, I guess it was still my secondary monitor. But anyway, the monitor in the middle is the Alienware OLED ultra wide. Uh, it's a 34.5 inch monitor, I believe, and it's fantastic. The colors are great. It's perfect for gaming. It's perfect for work. It's perfect for multitasking, like for personal things. It's great. I've had no issues with it. I have it actually hooked up to my work computer, my personal computer. All I do is just switch the, the outputs or, or the inputs or whatever, and then I can use it with both. Yeah, it's just great. I like having an ultra wide. It's just way more convenient for a lot of different things. The monitor on the left is uh, the Samsung, I think, G50A monitor. And this is a, a gaming monitor that I got because I was trying to use a different Samsung monitor before that was only 60 Hertz. And I think I kind of was in the process of destroying that monitor because I was gaming on it. So this is great, but this is now the monitor that I use to watch the the stream, uh, you know, my stream labs and all that stuff and multitask outside of my main display when I'm gaming or doing anything else. Uh, so this is, this is definitely a highly recommended monitor as well because it's not that expensive and it's better than a lot of the alternatives which can be like way past like the $500 range. I think this was like three something. I don't remember the exact price, but like I said, I'll have links to every single thing listed below in the description of this video. Last two things, uh, my personal PC and my work PC. Well, let's start with my, my actual work laptop, which is a MacBook Pro M2 Pro processor. This was provided by my job. Obviously, it's gonna sit on my desk because I work from home, so no issues with it, but obviously, I only just use this for work. I don't use this for anything crazy like video editing or anything like that, but yeah, I think it works well. Haven't had any issues with it. If you're a Mac user and you're looking to do a lot of work, on it, then yeah, I mean, based on my experience, it's been fantastic. Uh, and now to the final thing, which is my personal PC, which is an NZXT pre-built PC. This is the streaming line of PCs because obviously my goal was to stream and I've been doing that and it just looks great. It's, you know, got the all black internals. It's got like the lights on the inside and I didn't want anything fancy with crazy RGBs. I just wanted something that could handle streaming 1440p games. And that's what I have been doing. Um, something that I can multitask on. That's what I've been doing. And I think it's highly recommended. So yeah, that's the, that's the room tour. That's the, you know, work from home and creative space. Uh, like I said, this is something that I've been wanting for a while and just didn't have the space for it. And um, a lot of this stuff took a while to accumulate. This is not just like me going out and spending thousands of dollars because there's no way I'd be able to do that. A lot of this stuff I've had for years. If you're planning to make your own work from home slash, you know, creative space, then I would say go for it, but don't feel like you need all this stuff because you don't. Like I said, everything in this video is gonna be linked in the description if you're interested in checking it out. Feel free to leave comments below with any questions about anything in this video. And yeah, be sure to uh, 
you know, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoyed it, and um, expect more videos from me throughout the week and live streams and stuff like that. And yeah, I'll uh, talk to you all later.